welcome back to another part of Hogwarts Legacy. If you do enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and let's get it. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Okay. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I was deep to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please. Avelio. No, Professor, talk. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Sure. Why do we get so many mails now? Confringo! Rebellion. I have a feeling it's the other fire one that we have to use. Uh, let's just check over here. Uh, might be this ability. Incendio. It's like we can't target it, right? <laughs> How am I so bad at these things? I, I don't even know what it does, dude. Revenia. Uh, let's get the spell back. It is my strongest... or favorite ability, I would have to say. Why? Because it has quite a range on it. Okay, let's teleport to our quest. We can do either or. So we'll start with the top one then. We'll track it, locate it on the map. What? What? Dude. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's do the other one. Where's this one? Okay, it's right here. <laughs> Wish there was a way to tell which one is the closest to teleport to. I mean, if I, I think if you read them, it would say which one's the closest. But as they would say in English, I'm a lazy bugger. Right? I think. That's what they say. I think. So I think this is the quest that Professor Weasley gave us. Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Ooh, pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Dee can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. So we're gonna catch. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Dee when you're ready to go. So let's go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. That makes one of us, to be honest. I dislike outing. <laughs> 
It only costs money to go out, dude. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Where the heck is the knapsack? Ah, oh, we have to assign it, okay. Bro, I need to I need to get another. Wait, what? Oh here we go. Did I accidentally damage one by mistake? What? Did I kill it? Oh, I only need one. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. I'm ready. <gasps> Can I click my finger and get the also? Let's see. It's just as fast to run, I guess. So just follow the map. It is the safer route, I think. My mother sent me a howler. Yo, 400 meters, dude. I'll see you there. He's right. Okay, and we are here. I already ran past the beasts that we're gonna get, which is that. Looks like birds. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Hmm. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Okay, it looks like we need to get Olivia so on here. So... Which one is it? It's Olivia so This one. Yes, 
Everything's all right now. That worked out. Pretty experience for that? That's crazy. <laughs> he got his glasses on reading. I rescued a jobinol. Deke hopes your jobinol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Oh, he's gonna click again, isn't it? That's cheating, bro. Yeah, at least not that far away. They look like regular birds. I don't know why they're called beasts. Right? I mean, it is a beast, technically, I think. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. I guess we'll have to wait, right? I think I saw a way to wait, if I'm not mistaken, inside the menu. There we go. Uh, if you're on your map and you press down R3, you could say wait. Wait for day until night. Wow, they're cute. They look like tiny llamas, dude. They have huge eyes. What the heck? It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. And a flick. Uh, just a flick of the rest, dude. Okay, so we need to go to Hogwarts map and then go to our private room. It doesn't allow us to teleport to the private room now. We have to teleport close to it and then enter. So double loading the screen. But it's okay. It is not too shabby, dude. I wonder if we can do something with the beasts. We probably will place them here, take care of them, I guess, feed them. But it's weird that we only collect one of each. Right? There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? You've done 
it. But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. <laughs> what the heck? Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Beast management. You can only have one of each. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too, but if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Magical beasts, uh, nature, materials, properties. Okay, you, you feed the beast and brush. Are some ways to nurture them. They look happy. Deke thinks you are doing good work here. Yeah, so we're getting materials. <laughs> you can pick up. We can only have four different species. Deke, I have some questions for you. What do you need to know? Well, all of my beasts produce magical materials. Only a happy beast will produce such materials. Simply use the skills you learned in beast class. Feeding your beast or grooming them with a brush will make them happier. How should I collect magical materials? It's quite easy. Simply approach a happy beast, and they'll provide you with any magical materials they can. What uses do magical materials have? They have a variety of uses, all of which help to make a witch or wizard more powerful. Deke thinks it might be easier to show you once you have some materials to work with. Thank you. I'll get back to collecting materials. Wonderful. Good luck. So it looks like that is our main quest now. Collect hair, collect feather. The 
bird is so far away. Why is there a butterfly here? What are you doing? Give me your feathers. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Dude, I freaking love this place, man. It's so cool. The way they implement it also is crazy. Okay. Wait a minute. We have a new gear. What was it though? Was it gloves? Yep, 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 yep. Decrease damage taken from dark mongrels. Increased damage by all plants. Okay, let's see. Conjure an enchanted loom. Um. Is it by gear? I need to conjure an enchanted loom from the spellcraft that Deke provided. Spellcraft. I think I know what it is. Um, yeah. Is this? Here we go. Enchanted loom. I don't know which one's forward or which one's backwards. I'll just put it there. so cool man gear features one uh one primary offense or defense stat by default magical materials used to loom can be upgraded to the secondary stat or apply traits to your gear your multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat newbies can 
be uh, rescued at the beast dens or unlocked in quests. New trades, recipes can collect in bandit camps. Let's take this one as an example. Increase damage with incendio. Greatly increase spell damage. Significantly increase damage with a mandrake. I don't use any of these three abilities, guys. By disillusionment. What the heck is that? Upgrade gear. You can upgrade it three times. So cool, man. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. Sir, so show Deke these nuts. He has glasses on, though, so you will see them very, very zoomed in. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Hmm. Thank you for your help, Deke. Okay. Plus one talent. Uh, let's teleport to our next quest. Actually, I would like to do a side quest, okay? I think we want to go... buy a broom. Purchase broom. Purchase a broom from Sprint, Sprint Witches in Hogsmeade. Sp Sprint Witches? What is these stars? Hogsmeade Square. Spend witches. There we go. I don't know if we can afford it. The broomstick, but. Let's see. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Are you the merchant?
Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to... The game crashed there. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Hmm. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? The cheapest one. They're all cheap. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. I actually like this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I only have to buy one, right? And it's cheaper than I thought. Maybe any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class. They all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sounds really good. I, I think I want to. Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did. But my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her... Difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. 
and I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Well, dear. The mummy is stealing your clothes. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Bro, it's so far away. Can we just teleport there? World map, I guess. Flight test. Yeah, this is where we need to be. Uh, we can maybe... Do this. No. Hogsmeade, uh, Hogwarts. Uh, the entrance. Ah, uh, here's the entrance. I think that should be the claw. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know why the game keeps crashing on me. I did do some research on why this happens. And they say that there must be some graphic uh, issue with the settings, so change the settings. Um, because I, like, my graphics wasn't custom. I changed it now to medium. And also, uh, changed the DL DLSS from balanced to quality, so... This should be fine, I guess. So the game crashed, I think, three times within this, within just video this video. So, I mean, like, it's... It's a little bit too much, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why it leads me through here. I'm just gonna run straight. What was this? Okay, I'll see you guys at the location. Oh wow. This was in the movie I watched when I was when I was a kid. Oh, Black hadn't cancelled it. Even. Where they play like a ball game on the broomstick. I don't know if it's in this game though. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom. Kiss my broom girl. Hello, Melda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I do agree with that. You, you can't really how You can't really ask someone that only done it once, right? You sound jealous? I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all, built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again, got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Okay, dumbass. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Did 
did it! <laughs> I missed one. More like it. Dude. Having a brain fart. Excellent. We beat it by almost a minute. Dude, did we beat <laughs> Did we beat it almost by a minute? Uh, that's not you must have cheated you. Oh fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. You're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Sure, woman. You're just salty. You're just salty. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. View the leaderboard. Look at that. We almost won by a minute. Ready now, is it not like I can I can't fly everywhere? I'm. I don't know if we can. If we can, I'm gonna just fly everywhere, man. My game keeps crashing when it loads, so I think that's the big thing. Try to avoid loading. This is actually pretty fun. Well, I think it will only be fun in the beginning, right? Flying to your locations instead of, like, insta-teleporting. On Enderwall Mountain. Can I go? Thank you. Move, bitches. Oh, you're back with something to report, I am. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. 
I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? What is wrong with napping during the day? I do it sometimes. Not every day, though. Okay, we have uh, a main quest. But that's in the other side of the world, right? But now we can fly there! That is the whole point, I guess. Okay, can you... Thank you. Here we go. Okay, we'll teleport here and then we'll take my broom and uh, fly over the mountain. <laughs> Hello again. I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. Ha, stop by the shop when you can. Bro, I was... Don't say anything. Don't say anything. <laughs> I was literally just there. What are you up to now? Hmm. Listen, bro. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. I thought I'm the test dummy. What are you looking for today? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here. South of Oxmead, beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them express reticence at the idea of racing against her at all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Yeah, but like, why do I need to pay? And we'll be off to the races. Like I, I don't I don't get that part. Like I should be the test dummy. And then you should uh let other people pay for it. Right? I should be getting it for free because I will provide you with all the info you need. And then you charge other people because it's an upgrade for them. Love little place. 
Hmm. There was a time when I could do that. Fly. Okay, we're again going to the side quest here to do a time trial. Well, I gotta be honest, man. This game is absolutely beyond expectations. The combat is not the greatest, but it's doable. Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. Sorry, did you see the previous record? Hello, Melda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. Well, they sit around and hope to be the best. I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Let's be honest here. Like, you've put in hours. This is my second time flying and already whip your ears. Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Amelda? <laughs> Go ahead, believe what you want. Makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. No one goes around telling me I did a fine job. And do I care? No. I say I'm the best and that's all I need. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year. And don't be disappointed when you lose. So that is the problem with you. Uh, saying that you're the best, because you're clearly not the best. And if you are the best, even if you are number one, you should never act like you are the best. Otherwise, you become comfortable and your practice becomes useless. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. At least this one is a lot closer time than the previous one was. Still beat by almost 30 seconds. I think 25. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway... You didn't do abysmally, I can't deny that. But 
You'll not have the same luck on the south coast course. You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? <sighs> if you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of our house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Poor thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. Uh, why do you have to say if the handling part? I actually started to like you until that. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. That is okay, fine lady. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Oh, this teleporting up and down thing, dude. But it's okay. We're getting stuff done, I guess. Uh, we should just go to Hogsmeade. Just over here. And game crash? No? Oh, no? Okay. <laughs> I wonder if it happens to a lot of people. Back from your latest flight? I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. Does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, oh, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Let me guess, I teleport away and then you call me and say, listen, the upgrade's ready. And I do have a problem with that because I don't think I can afford the next upgrade. All jokes aside. Just start a board anywhere. I'm sure I'll be phoning you soon. I think. If I have to take a rough kiss. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. What is happening here? Revenia. Level 20. You'll need to be quick. Bingo! Bro. Can I target this? No, I can't target them. Okay, they didn't phone me for an upgrade, so we might as well just make our way to the actual quest that we have right now. So quest, uh, track, locate on map. 
pretty far away, but there's a clear direction we could fly. Watch over the trees. The tree jumped out of nowhere. I mean, it is Harry Potter, so it is actually... It's actually uh, a thing that could happen. So many enemies around it. That we could just avoid now. When I see one. Ain't this pretty? Can't imagine this in real life, dude. How awesome this would be. Yeah, you fly... Almost twice as fast, it feels like, if you're on the floor. Oh. They're like, no, people are gonna fly over the mountain, we don't want that. Well, this was the path that I was thinking of, or seeing. So, like, I'm just holding flying in, by the way. She's automatically flying down. So, like, the game wants you to be a certain height from the floor. And if you are higher than that height, then it uses your stamina. And once your stamina is empty, as you can see in the bottom right corner, it will automatically push you downwards, it seems. And I, I don't know why this is a side quest. I have no idea, man. I feel like this should be a main quest. Getting your broom. You made it. Yes. We made it to the end of this part, even though we crashed so often. <laughs> Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help the channel a lot. Subscribe if you are new. Looking forward to see you guys in the next video. Love you, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, have a great time.